Hey everybody, uh, this is a, a pretty short lesson. Uh, it's right after a quiz, so I'm, I'm splitting uh, this, this one day lesson up into two days because of our quiz today. Anyway, so uh, it's part one, so I think it's pretty easy, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. How do we add and subtract rational expressions? So these are like fractional expressions with polynomials. It has to do with factoring, you guys, all right? All right, before we get started, you guys, I just want to do a reminder. If zero is on top of a number, it equals zero. And if uh, a number is on top of zero, it's undefined. And how do I remember that? Is I just kind of think of it like a little... Uh, like a ball holding up a table, and the ball won't hold up a table, it'll fall over. So if zero's on the bottom, that's the undefined one. Zero's on top, then it equals zero. All right, so let's add or subtract rational expressions. So the first part is just identify any excluded values, okay? So the excluded values are when the denominator equals uh, zero. So we go ahead and, and uh, just focus on the denominator for these directions. So I don't care what's in the numerator. We just set that denominator equal to zero. So here we go. We just add one to both sides. And so our excluded value is x equals one. Okay, how about this one? Okay, now again, I don't care about the top for these directions. I'm just focusing on the denominator. Set that equal to zero. Of course, we can factor that. That's x plus two times x minus two. And then we just uh, subtract two on both sides and then uh, add 2 on both sides. So here I'm going to go minus 2, minus 2. Here I'll go plus 2, plus 2. And when we do that, our excluded values are uh, x uh, equals plus or minus 2. Okay, because that would give us 0 in the denominator. If I put in 2 here or negative 2 here and squared it, we get 0 in the denominator. And that's a no-no in math, okay? All right, so rewrite an equivalent expression that has the given denominator. Okay, so do you remember when we, uh, in grade school, were adding and subtracting fractions, you guys? Just regular fractions, and we always had to get a common denominator. So that's what we're doing here. We're leading into that. Okay, so... Here's our rational expression. It has, says 3x over x plus 3. They want us to have this uh, equivalent with uh, the denominator x plus 3, x plus 5, okay? So remember, when we uh, anything times 1 is the same expression, and anything over itself equals 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change the denominator so it has this additional expression in it. But if I put it in the denominator, I've got to put it in the numerator, because see, this is 1 right here. Anything over itself equals 1. And when we multiply this times 1, it's going to give us the same value. It's just going to look different. Now it's going to have x plus 5 in it and x plus 3. So there's our answer. It's 3x times x plus 5 over x plus 3 times x plus 5. Okay, if you wanted to, you can distribute the 3x through if you wanted to. Typically, always leave the denominators factored, so that's fine. Okay, so here's the next one. So 5 over 5x minus 25, and they want us to have a denominator with x minus 5x plus 1. Okay, let's clean this uh, up. Let's factor that denominator right there. Okay, and then recognize that these 5s now can cancel. So what I did is I GCF'd a 5 out of those expressions, and it gets me that right there. Then we can cancel the 5s. Now look, now we have a denominator with x minus 5, which is part of what we want. We want x minus 5x plus 1. So we're going to multiply this by 1, but my 1 is going to be x plus 1 over x plus 1. Okay, so there's our answer right there. So it's um, the 1 times x plus 1, which is just x plus 1. And then there's our denominator, x minus 5, x plus 1. Okay, you guys, if you are sitting in my class, I'm going to give you that quick assignment right there. 